Hey guys, it's official. We're recording. Lily can hear every single thing you're saying. Watch out. Don't insult her like you were before. Okay, here we go. Um, R.2 is all about real numbers. and their properties. Uh, today is 9-8. OK. We're going to do a few problems today that I'm hoping are going to be pretty easy for you, or just reminders. Tomorrow it's going to start getting like the I feel like today, at the end of today, you'll be like, I think I knew all that. Okay, I'm not so bad. And tomorrow you'll be like, I did not remember the rules for exponents. It turns out we're going to need to relearn that one. Okay, so we'll get there. But for right now, if you feel like the warm-up went okay, feel pretty good about the warm-up. And if you made a mistake, you feel like, oh, I know what I did. Great. Okay, so moving on, I'm not going to suggest that we do PEMDAS or anything like that, but we are going to try a little bit of... Um, of substitution in within things. So let's start with negative 4x squared uh, minus 7y plus 4z. Uh, do you guys know why I put a line through my z's? Because my z's look just like my 2's and as a teacher, I see, do you see it? This, this one got a little curvy, but, um, but I'll tell you what, my z's... <laughs> My Z's and my two's look, I'm telling jokes up here all the time. You guys are not laughing. And I'm like, my two got a little curvy. You guys are like, ha ha. Oh, that Miss Nussbaum. She's so funny today. Um, I remember, oh, you guys remember Megan Meyer? I, one time in stats, uh, I had a two and I like drew a hippo on my sheet for some reason. And then I had the two, oh no, I didn't have a hippo. I had a, I had one of those little hippo animals next to me. And I was like, did you know hippos like to eat twos? And I was like, nom, 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 on my paper. And she almost peed her pants. Like, she was crying. And then on her poster for the year, she was like, can you draw a hippo eating twos? And I'm like, OK. So you never know what's going to win. I'll tell you, sometimes I'm like, this joke's going to kill. Nope. <laughs> x equals negative 2, y equals 5, z equals negative 3. All right, so substitute in, use parentheses when you need to. I'm okay with using a calculator now if you want to go grab them. All right, look up for one minute, please. Somebody raise their hand and tell me, what is the difference between this key and that one? Michael. Um, the, the one that your pointer finger is on is the subtraction key, and the one that your thumb is on is the negative key. Right, and if I write minus 2 or plus a negative 2, is that pretty much the same thing? Yeah, it is the same thing. Does your calculator think that's the same thing? No, because calculators are stupid. Okay? And if you write this, 5 minus 2, it says 3. Yay, 5 minus 2 is 3. And if I write 5, negative 2, it says, what are you talking about? I have no idea what that could possibly be. And then you say, quit. I meant 5 plus a negative 2, and it says, oh, it's 3. Okay, so... You have to speak in calculator language, otherwise calculators are too stupid to get it. So make sure you, the biggest mistake is the negative and the subtraction sign, so use them correctly. Okay. This problem I'm going to do up here as well, so when you're done, you can just look up and see how you did.
How'd you do? Good. If you made a mistake, do you feel like you understand the mistake you made? Okay. All right. Now, next question. As a teacher, do I expect this much work on this problem? It depends. Is that how your mind worked? Then yes. I don't want to see you typing in negative 4, and I don't want it like this in your calculator. I don't want it to be like negative 4 times parentheses, negative 2, did anybody do this? Squared minus 7 times 5. Uh, your calculator will do this all at once, plus 4 times negative 3, negative 63, okay? Uh, your calculator is graded order of operations because it's a machine. So we'll do all of it for you. You can easily check every single answer you have. I do want to see some work. It doesn't have to be all of your work. For example, if you wrote the problem down and then jumped to this because you don't need to sit there and write negative 2 is x and you can just think instead what's negative 2 squared and write in 4. If you want to start skipping steps because your brain's faster than that, that's fine. Um, as long as I see some work on problems. There's going to be occasionally problems that are so simple that there's n why would you even show work on that type of problem. Um, and I'll tell you when those happen. All right, example two. This one's worth a prize. We're going to use the exact same x, y, and z. Um, this time it's x over 2, like a fraction, uh, minus y over 5. And then we're going to do a big fraction, like that was just the top part of the fraction. And the bottom is 3z over 9 uh, plus 8y over 5. Now, before I let you loose on this, can somebody tell me what does this big division sign imply? about the top and the bottom of the fraction. They're two separate things and they should be treated as such. If you're following PEMDAS, it's almost like it's implying that there's parentheses on the top and bottom and that you need to do the whole top and the whole bottom before you simplify. Okay, I'll give you some time. Lily, you're watching this, which means right now you can pause the video um, or just try the problem on your own and then skip forward to when we actually do it. So feel free to pause and skip anytime you need to, Lily. Is anybody having any issue reading my handwriting? The right answer is negative two sevenths, if you get it right. Oh, your quiz on you is due today, so if you haven't turned that in already, would you please put it in the treasure chest? I'm guessing that was what was going on before when we broke the treasure chest. Isn't that right, Michael? Remember when you broke it? Remember, Michael? Yeah. Lily, Michael broke the treasure chest. Can you believe it? I mean, he didn't even say sorry. He was just like, the piece is somewhere, and then I had to find it myself. He found it on the table eventually, but only after I chastised him. I'm just filling her in on all the hot gossip while you're, okay? Like, if she was here, she'd find this out in the first place. I still don't know. Oh, it's right here. Everybody good? All right. Who wants to come up here and show us? <laughs> 